Welcome into the WTO 11 studio. I am Tyler Segerman. Thank you all for joining me, whether you're watching online or on our OTT platform. And I'm very appreciative of you guys tuning in. I'm also appreciative of the guy standing next to me, Jared Anderson, heavyweight, uh, rising star, undefeated boxer as well. And you're here because you're going to have a big fight here in Toledo on July 1st. We'll start there because... Coming in, obviously, for the press conference, there was quite a reception uh, from, from family and friends, but also from public officials as well. How would you describe the reaction of everyone here in Toledo uh, when, you, when you first arrived? Um, it was just, it was love, you know. I felt very embraced. Um, you know, a lot of hugs, a lot of pictures, um, and a lot of I'm proud of you, you know. So just a lot of love. Um, I felt really embraced. Right. And obviously, you know, you're, you're training now in Houston. You know, obviously you spend a lot of time there. I don't know how often you get to come back to the Glass City, but is there anything that you maybe miss about Toledo uh, since you've been away? Uh, well, I definitely don't miss the potholes. Uh, <laughs> but I'd probably say like Geno's, you know, it's a, okay. a, a home favorite that you yeah. can't get anywhere else. So yeah. I guess that's one of those things that I just really missed. Yeah. Well, I was going to ask you, is there one food spot that you have to hit before you leave? Uh, well, I actually went to Gino, so okay. that's not the one right now. Uh, right now, still on the list is Jay Alexander's. Um, what's another one? I went to Dewey Wings. Okay. Uh, I think just Jay Alexander's on the list. Okay. Before I gotta yeah. leave. You still got, yeah, I got one more night, so yeah. you got plenty of time to get it done. Yeah. Um, obviously, you know, there's um, a lot of. Um, Trying to think of the word here, you know. Obviously, you know, with your fight, you know, being in Toledo, it's your first debut on on the main event on ESPN. Just kind of how awesome is it for you, not only to be coming back for your first professional night in Toledo, but also be doing it in a main event setting? I miss mean, huge. You know, um, not many people get to do it. I'm able to do it at a young age, um, at an early point in my career. So I'm really stoked to do it. You know, and doing it in my home city just puts the cherry on top. Um, it's, it's going to be a huge night, you know, and everybody will get to see it on ESPN. Yeah, have you been able to kind of imagine what that atmosphere, what that setting inside the Huntington Center will be like? Can you can you even picture it? <laughs> um, I was there for the Robert Easter fight when yeah. he came, you know, um, so I seen how he did it. Uh, I hope to be better, you know, just because everybody always wants to have the, the best. Right. But um, I, I seen his and I seen it was dope, so I can imagine mine would be just as, just as good. I, I know that Toledo is going to come out for me and going to show me a lot of love. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, before we get into the fight, obviously your career has been nothing short as spectacular. 14-0, 14 knockouts. The last six haven't even made it to the fourth round. How would you just describe the success that you've had so far in your career? Um, hard work, hard work and dedication. That's the two things, you know, that uh, pushed me the furthest and got me to where I am. Hard work and dedication, man. That, that's how I describe my journey so far. That's how I describe my life so far. Yeah, I, I mean, you get asked this question a lot, so I don't want to be the last, the next one to ask it. But obviously, your future looks very bright. A lot of people asking, you know, when that that title shot's going to come and how how quickly you can ascend to the ranks. But just how aware of you are with the buzz that you're creating for yourself, but also for your brand? Um, I'm aware of it. You know, uh, I take into account every time I, you know, post on my social media or. Uh, the way I talk to kids now because I know it's, it's such an impact now, you know, by everything I do or say. So um, it's huge, you know, and, and I see the the way that things move now when I say things or do things. So that's why I say it like I do, um, you know, watch what I do and say now. But for sure, I think I'm ruffling some feathers in the heavyweight division. I think a lot of people are, uh, you know, worried about what I have coming, you know, and my potential um, as a heavyweight. So. We shall see uh, how they go as far as signing contracts, but I think I, I like my chances as being the next heavyweight champion of the world. Absolutely, I like them too. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Thank you know, you. obviously, you were talking about your fight, obviously you're going up against the guy who's also undefeated. Kind of what are your expectations for the fight itself on July 1st? Um, just to be, you know, confident and um, calm in the ring, continue to uh, be who I am, you know, and work on the little things so that I can perfect myself. Um, to be, just be the best person I can be, you know, the best fighter I can be. Um, and at the end of the night, I should be, the, be victorious. Is there anything that you're looking to prove come July 1st in, in your hometown? Um, that I'm a hometown hero. Yeah. That's it. That's, that's all I want to prove, that I'm a hometown hero, um, that people love me here, um, and that I'm always welcome home. 
Yeah, well, speaking of that, I'm glad you mentioned that because obviously you've had a lot of media obligations. You're throwing out the first pitch of the Mud Hens game tonight. You've, you know, a shorter period of time, but you're doing all these things here in the Glass City. Tell me kind of what your day's been like and what you still have planned to do here. Um, man, it's been chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a lot going on, but uh, it's all for a good cause and it's all for the, um, the betterment of Toledo. So I'm all for it, you know. Uh, today has been all interviews, all media, um, all promotion for the fight. But like I said, it's all for the uh, better men of Toledo. We are working for one better goal, you know, and that's just to spread the word and let everybody know that we are the biggest city, you know. We are one of the biggest cities in this nation. Absolutely. Well, I didn't want to touch on it because uh, Albert Bell was there at the press conference. You're Andre Ware as well, both Toledo guys. I'm actually talking to Elber tomorrow, so it's kind of funny that you're here as well. But kind of what does it say about the, the state of boxing here in Toledo and what, um, you know, the, the sport of boxing means for this city to have guys like that join you in uh, that rank? Um, it means everything, you know. It, it just lets you know that you got have brothers in arms in this sport. Um, people who uh, drop everything and come to support, you know, come to help and be there when they can. So it's a huge support um, and a pat on the back, you know, to my guys for always being there and just always being big brothers to us in this sport and, you know, showing us the way. Mm -hmm. I did read online because I got kind of go away from boxing for a little bit that they, they asked you about your hidden talent. You said bowling. Uh, how, how often do you bowl? Kind of where's your game at? Uh, I've been bowling here <laughs> once since I've been here, but okay. I, I haven't been bowling in, to be honest, prior to that, whew, in about a year. Okay. So um, it's been some time. I've been kind of focused on my boxing. I've um, been running a lot, you know, and doing a lot of working out. So it's been tough on my bowling, but <laughs> I think I still can average like a 160, 170. Okay, so yeah, yeah, bigger priorities obviously going on yeah. right now than to right. go in the bowling <laughs> or bowling alley rather. Um, obviously, you know, well, I, I did want to ask this too because you know a lot of people are going to see your name, uh, see you obviously come here to Toledo next month. Um, the nickname Real Big Baby. Um, just I, I know people probably know this, but just for from your perspective, kind of where did it come from and how does that kind of implement your style? Um, just being a bigger kid at a young age. I was in the gym uh, about. 14 or 15, and I was fairly bigger than most of the kids or um, young adults in the gym at the time. You know, even people who were 16, 17, some even in their 20s, you know, I was bigger than them. I mean, I was probably like 5'10", 5 5'11", 5 you know, and I had been nothing less than 150 pounds, nothing less. That's at the very least. At 15, 16, uh, I had been fighting 178 by then, so I had been one, nothing less than 170. Um, so like I said, I was pretty much bigger than everybody else. Okay. Um, and so they just always used to ask me like, oh, how old are you? And then when I would tell them, they'd be like, oh, you a big baby. <laughs> and it just stuck. I gotcha, I gotcha. Well, I know obviously, you know, you, grew, you graduated from Scott, you went to Scott High School, growing up here in Toledo. Anything you want to say uh, to those kids maybe there right now in terms of inspiration? I know you mentioned at the press conference that, you know, you're doing this to kind of show them the example of what you can do, you know, with some hard work and perseverance, kind of anything you'd like to share, you know, to the, the, the kids at Scott High School right now. Um, I am a bulldog, and I, I wear that proudly. I'm a bulldog, but I also went to St. Francis for two and a half years. Okay. Um, so I wear that side also. You know, I'm, I'm a knight at heart also. Um, I was born there, so my high school career started there. So I, I also <laughs> want to, you know, get them there, shine, and let them know St. Francis, I still got love for y'all too. But on both sides, um, just as a message, you can do this. You can be great. Um, Toledo is not just a place where trouble and bad things happen. Good things happen, great people come from here, and you can do it too. Absolutely. Well, I can't wait to see you put on the show July 1st. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank Again, you. Jared Anderson here, rising heavyweight star. Again, tickets on sale now for his fight on July 1st. Be there because it'll be a spectacular show. Appreciate the time once again, Jared. Appreciate you guys joining us. Thank you. No problem.